hello youtube so today in this video i'm gonna show you the most widely used packages for django and which you can use right now in your current project and which you might consider using in next project next django project i mean so first of all we have our our psycop g2 so which is used as a connector between our postgres database and our django project so after installing this you can define your database settings in the database variable in settings.py in which you can define your database name password and localhost and several other informations so moving on next we have our pillow package so what what the, what's the purpose of this so to work with images in your django project you have to install this package so if you use models.image field without installing this library it the django or the terminal will raise an error which which will say that you must uh, install this pillow package to start working with image field so if you will like if you want to upload like user images blog thumbnails or whatever you want to do like if you want to work with images or processing image processing you want to do any kind of these okay so you can do pip install pillow and start working on it so moving on next project uh, sorry next package we have white noise so white noise is used to serve our django static files okay so this is uh, i mean <coughs> you can use this package to serve your static file in productions okay so you can head over to this url and see the installation instruction i can show it here you can do pip install white noise let me make it bigger so you can pip install white noise and in your middleware you can define your white noise middleware and you can do your static file storage and you can do other kind of thing if you want and moving on next we have our G unicorn so if you are familiar with Heroku then if you have deployed any of the website on Heroku then you might know what is G unicorn so what G unicorn is a whiskey server for Unix system okay so it has no dependencies and can be installed using pip so this package will help you deploying your Django project okay so with this command G unicorn and your project and your whiskey file reference and it will start your server so moving on to next package we have U whiskey okay or you can call it U WSGI whatever you want to do so you can do python minus m pip install whiskey and with the help of this package you can also deploy your django project to with uh, with an nginx server okay so these are both are used for deployment and moving on to next project a uh, package we have django ck editor so what exactly is the ck editor let's google for it django ck so let's search for just ck editor so if you see in our image field so this is what a ck editor looks like okay so this will help you in creating your fields which are which you can modify according to the ck editor so basically you can use these kind of things in with the help of this ck editor you can install it with this command pip install django ck editor and you can define your settings like fields from django.models and uh, this will be already there and from seek editor.fields you can import your rich text editor field and make your model and just refer this just make a reference of rich text fields so it will then after making migration and migrating database you will see the changes in your admin panel okay so moving on next project package we have our rest framework so this is most popular package for django out there depend upon if you if you if you know about it so okay so what this is used for this is used for making rest apis so the as the name says itself it is used to create rest apis with django so you can integrate your front end with this and how you can install this okay where is the pip install okay here it's so you can do pip install django rest framework these are just 
optional you don't need to install these so after installing that you can define your the rust framework in your installed apps and then you can make your views and then response and then make an api and then you can make sorry this is the url so you can make a api request to this url and it will return a json error so you also have to install the uh, sorry you also have to define the rest framework settings so like these permission settings and you also have to use serializers and many other things okay so let's move to next package so we have our django course headers so if you are use if you will be using rest framework then you might run into course error okay so what this package will help you this will help your django project to connect to the front end okay so this will not raise any error so it will smoothly connect to your front end which will be built in react or vue.js or angular or whatever f the framework you want to do okay so header to response allowing browser request for django application from other origins so our let's say so our react project will be on this localhost port 3000 and our django our django project will be on this origin so, okay so these two ports are different okay so basically machine is machine is same but the origins are not same so that's why they might run into errors so you can use this package to solve that error so moving on to next we have our django all out so with the help of this package you can you can implement authentication using google and you can also make local authentication like just a simple authentication like login logout profile and whatever you want like basically with the authentication okay so after installing this you also have to migrate your database and like you so some of this package provides you already views and urls which you can connect to your front end and modify them okay so the name it says itself all auth so basically all kind of authentication can be done here so moving on to next project so in next package we have our django rest auth which is tj rest auth so with the help of this you can make your rest api authentication okay so which serves like authentication token so this all auth will simply just help you in building your django project which are just like html templates so if you are working on the rest framework then you might consider using this to make like ap endpoints for authentications okay so after installing this so let's go to the installation section and here you can say pip install dj rest auth you can register in your installed apps and you can just make another url and include the dj rest auth url so it will come with predefined endpoints so which you can call them and use in your front end so to implement social authentication you have also need to install django all auth and to also work with registration you all you also need to install this django all auth package okay so let's see the endpoints let's go back registration api endpoints let's see some of them so if you go if you after installing that it exactly like that if you go to this url it will prompt you the like this endpoint where, where wherever you can where you can put your username email and password and it will return a authentication token so you can implement that token in your front end and send them send that on every request so that django can know which user is authenticated so this is the logout view and this is the password reset view so these are all predefined api endpoints which you can use them so this is the simple jwt so this will not be that efficient but this will be very much efficient and so what is jwt basically it is a javascript web token okay as here javascript token authentication okay 
so it is plugin for Django REST framework obviously if you want if you are making a REST framework then you also consider making authentication using JWT so simple JWT provides a JSON web authentication token for Django REST framework it aims to cover most common use cases of JWT and so on so on so on okay so moving on to next package we have Django host so if you want to build websites like which have subdomains and that kind of thing so like we have a here a first let's say we have example.com our website and we also want to have our functionality which is like subdomain which is api.example.com so making these kind of websites can be possible with the help of this packages in with the help of this package in Django so let's move to next project package so we have pip install cripsy uh, tailwind so this is the forms plugin okay so if you want to like if you don't want to I mean design or you don't want to waste your time in CSS making making like fancy forms and then you can use this crispy tailwind so that your Django forms looks better so after installing that you can in install apps you can crispy forms crispy tailwind and crispy load template pack is equal to tailwind and crispy template pack is equal to tailwind so after that you can use this tailwind filter and after like using just this this tag your forms will be converted in like these okay pretty simple right so let's move to our next and this is the Django crispy form so this is so this crispy tailwind is based uh, built on top of this Django crispy form so in which in this package you can use multiple forms UIs okay and uh, let's say you can install this from here and you can just put it in your installed apps and it can also use like bootstrap bootstrap ui for your forms bootstrap 3 bootstrap 4 and uniform foundation and tailwind also okay so let's move to our next package so which is django admin honeypot so this is a fake django admin login screen so this can also help to uh, like brute forcing anything and it will notify admins of like anything attempt un unauthorized access so this is like this is really a good addition to your Django project okay so no one try to mess up with your Django project or Django website whatever it is so moving on next we have our Django Defender so this is a reusable, reusable app which uh, which blocks like brute forcing attacks uh, so that like if someone is trying to get into your system with brute force brute force attack it will um, it will block block that user from using using like using such kind of attacks so you can use this okay and so it and uh, you can install this via let's go to here how oh, we can install this okay you can google this whatever so as you can see in your admin pages after installing that you can see like how many access attempts are there and what are the blocks blocked users so let's say someone forget their password and if they are retrying again and again and again multiple times okay so they will be blocked so just like people okay so you can also go to your blocked users and you can unblock them that kind of thing ah yeah here we got it pip install django defender so let's move to our next project which is django private chat 2 so this is like if you want to make a Django project which have like chat like functionalities so you can use this so you can pip install Django private chat too and you can use this you must add in your URL patterns and 
you can use this okay so must refer to this so i will leave out all of these urls in the description so that you don't miss uh, any so moving on next we have our django auto logout so the name says itself it will it will help in user to automatically log out from the system from your website so auto log log out a user after specific time in django okay pretty simple right so how you can install this pip install django auto logout okay so after installing that you also have to add the middleware and in your settings.py auto logout you can like idle time which is 600 so which means 600 seconds which means 10 minutes and date time stay times auto logout session time auto logout session time these are the like settings you can play with these so let's move to our next package which is django stmx so with the help of this package you can make your django templates forms into like very interactive types uh, like i don't know you can install these and you can see the tutorial on these so what this help is so it will help your it will help you to make your django forms into more interactive so they so they are like more like front end javascript type okay so next we have django recapture the name says itself so it will use google recapture service and you can install like pip install django recapture let's say go to installation after installation you have to put here in your installed apps public key private key you can play with these settings and get up and running with these features so moving on next we have our grappelli which is a theme for uh, our admin side okay so you can pip install django graphically so nothing crazy going going on so this is just a like admin uh, theme for the admin panel okay which comes and uh, the admin panels come by default with django obviously you know so you can after installing that you can put your graphically here you can include it here and also you can play with these settings collect static run server so let's move to our next package which is django upgrade so what this help uh, what this package will help you is it will help you in automatically upgrading your django to the newest upgradable version which will be like stable so that you don't miss out any any kind of like lower support so okay you can install this with pip install django upgrade you can play with these settings you can go with these whatever they say yeah so pretty much this is for this video so make sure to explore these packages and uh, so if you want to like explore more packages then we ha have our then there is a website named django packages so you can visit there and search for a uh, specific category like developer tools design or whatever so here will be your django package details so you can say python 3 you can check this stable and after like make sure to use uh check these boxes because you don't want like any kind of bugs there so you you always want to use production or stable ready or the latest python 3 package okay uh, so pretty much this is for this video see you in the next